Hi everyone, uh, this is going to be a tutorial on how to claim Zen via our test uh, environment. So this will claim Zen on testnet uh, as opposed to claiming on mainnet. And this is going to be a way for the community as well as exchanges to make sure that testing uh, the claiming process works appropriately. Uh, the team has internally tested this many times and we plan to continue testing it uh, up until uh, mainnet migration. Uh, so just keep in mind that this is a way for um, both exchanges and, and community uh, to go through the claiming process uh, and that it will happen using uh, testnet tools. So uh, you will be using wallets that are on testnet and um, token contracts that are also on base uh, testnet, uh, base Apolia, that is. So keep that in mind as we kind of go through this. We'll likely create another tutorial for everybody who wants to claim on mainnet. Everything will essentially be the same, only we'll be using, uh, when we do go to mainnet, we'll be using mainnet environments. So um, I will walk through the process for everybody. So the first thing is, uh, this is a claiming page. This is how it would look for everyone uh, once they, you know, um, this is where uh, end users will claim Zen. Uh, and this is a way that if you have Zen on a few wallets um, for you to be able to claim. Um, there are different claiming processes for, uh, depending on how uh, your, your Zen is set up essentially, but, um, most people will be using this claiming portal. Um, so upon coming here, the first thing you need to do is uh, um, connect your wallet. Um, but before we do that, uh, it's important to make sure that you are connected to base Sepolia. And in order to do that, you have to add a custom network. So I'm using MetaMask, but uh, feel free to use whatever wallet uh, you want. Um, but first, you need to connect to base Apolia, which is uh, what we're using here to test the migration. Um, so if I go to edit, these are the credentials for base Apolia. Um, you could get them uh, either by looking at this screen or just doing a simple Google ser search. Uh, the next thing that you'll need is you'll need some test ETH on base Apolia. So um, Coinbase provides a faucet. It's really easy to use. Uh, oops. Uh, all you do is just get your wallet uh, address, you enter it in, and then you'll get uh, some ETH, test ETH sent to your account. If you don't have it already, just make sure that you do have it or else you won't be able to go through this process. Um, so as you can tell, my wallet, I do have some some ETH, and you'll see that I actually got sent some just now. Um, so the first thing you have to do is connect your wallet uh, using MetaMask, connect, and um, you'll see that I'm connected now. Uh, the first thing that you have to do is enter in a, uh, a wallet address. So I'm going to get a, uh, a wallet address. Uh, address that I'm using just for testing purposes here, but it may be good. Uh, uh, there, are, there are two ways we could either provide uh, an address if you're interested in, in claiming and going through the cl claiming process, but we would uh, ask everybody to go to, uh, you know, get a testnet wallet before, before this, uh, go to a, a, a Zen, uh, faucet on testnet so you could get some zen if you really wanted to test this out on testnet so um, i already have a few wallets um, available to me for testing this so i could run this through uh, with you guys um, but uh, one other thing to note is that because we're on testnet this is horizon sphere wallet this is how uh, zen is managed for most users um, in order to use this, the test version of Sphere Wallet, just make sure not to use the, the mainnet version. They are different. And uh, 
All of this information will be provided to you, but uh, there is a place you could go to to get a testnet version of, of Sphere. Uh, I won't go through the whole process here, but it's very simple. You download it, you enter in your, your either create a new wallet or you enter in your seed phrase for uh, an existing wallet. So the first thing I'm going to do is I, as you can see here, I have this address with 0.1 Zen. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this address. So I haven't claimed with this address yet, and I'm going to enter it here. You will notice that there is, um, let me just make sure everything's recording appropriately. Okay, you'll notice that there's one uh, Zen, 0.1 Zen claimable uh, that matches exactly with how much I have here. Um, so once you enter in your wallet address, you click on next. The first thing that it's going to ask you is to, uh, when you claim, uh, what wallet do you want it to go to? Uh, I just wanted to go to the same wallet I'm connected with, but you could enter in any wallet address that you would like. So I'm gonna enter in that wallet address. This next part is quite important. Um, so if you notice here, it says message to sign. What does this mean? Uh, you're gonna need to use this uh, message here uh, in the Sphere wallet to create a message. And the reason why we do this is because this is a way to prove that you're the owner of the previous address that you, you entered. So only the person who owns the address could sign a message like this. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to Sphere. I'm gonna, you're going to see that there's a little uh, icon here with like a, um, like, like a pencil in a hand. This is a way to sign a message using Sphere. So what I'm going to do is from this uh, message, all you do is click on it and you'll see message copied clipboard. If it doesn't do that, just make sure to right, right click and do that. So we're back here just to do the process again. You click on this little uh, hand with the pencil and then you paste uh, this in and then click on create signature. Once you create the signature, you see that it's right here. You could do copy to clipboard. Perfect. You come back uh, and then you paste the signature here. And then uh, you click on Claim Zen. It's going to ask you to um, you know, confirm the transaction. You confirm the transaction and then it's done. Uh, if I look on the Block Explorer, it's quite fast. So it's probably um, it's a success. All right. so. Uh, the next thing you have to do is, uh, and this is where uh, you should be conscious about um, if I enter in the same address again, by the way, first let's see, before we do that, first let's see if we've retrieved that, um, that amount, uh, the point 0.1. So if I go to tokens, if you're, if you're new um, to MetaMask, you have to import the token first if it's a brand new token. Because this is a test token, it's not something that uh, may not come up as like visible. Sometimes MetaMask does that for you. But what you have to do is you have to import the token. So um, what I want to do first is just make sure that because we're doing several um, rounds of testing here, the Horizon team will provide you of the most recent token, a token that was uh, launched to Sepolia Testnet on base. So we will provide you an address, a token address to use to import the token. Um, so I'll just go and grab that for which one it is right now. This is the address. So if I go back here, I go back to MetaMask, we'll provide this to you, but I will click on uh, where do you want to import the tokens from, Basepolia. I'll enter the address and it, it already picked up what the token symbol is. This is just a test version of the uh, of the of the token. Right now it's called ZT3. It may be called something else at, uh, at another testing um, milestone that we have. So just click on next and import. Now you'll see I have point two here, but that's that's really because I I had already claimed some
prior to this. But if I enter in the, the same address here, you will realize, whoops, let me copy it. If I enter in the same address, you'll realize I can't claim point one anymore because I've already claimed it. Um, but that's essentially it. This is how you uh, claim. I uh, hope this was helpful. And please let the team know if you have any other questions or if you run into any issues. Um, that's it. Thank you.